started arguing about left and right, and now everything for us is about left and right. So mine goes left to right, his goes right to left, because he's a righty and I'm a lefty. These boys are so dedicated and invested to the game that they want to get better. You know, I don't have to tell them, hey, three or four times to get ready to do the drill. No, they're ready to go into the next one, and they want to perfect me. When they make mistakes, they get upset at the mistakes, but they're ready to go into the next one. That's what, to me, makes them completely different than most of the other kids across, you know, the American country. I mean, they're 10 years old, and they've been on SportsCenter. They've been on 433. They've been on every major media outlet almost in the world, you know, Visuball in Europe. Their soccer intelligence is through the roof. That's the thing that people see when they see the videos. People that have been around the sport a long time, they're like, they, they understand that that movement on the ball, off the ball, and how that correlates to their position on the field is, is the special part about them. I'm Bryce. I'm James. And we're 10 years old and we play soccer. Normally our day would be like, Normally our day would be like waking up, making breakfast. We would probably make a little bit more breakfast for our parents to eat. If you watch him move around the kitchen, it's kind of, it, it looks like, kind of looks like the soccer field sometimes because they move around each other so well. They know where the other one is at all times. There's a lot of refereeing going on in our lives, whether it's uh, on the soccer field or at home. Even right now, they're making breakfast and I can guarantee you in their head they're paying attention to who's further along or who's gonna be finished first. <laughs> Everything's a competition. What a masterpiece. We're just trying to support their drive yeah. for the sport the best we can so that they can go as far as they wanna go. Good morning, how are you? Good. How's it going? Hola. Ready to get after it? Good session today? To be better than what we were yesterday? Yes? Ooh, I'm gonna burn it today. My name is Eric Vasquez, uh, born and raised here in Miami, Florida. And today I find myself running uh, one of the local clubs here called Miami Breakers, uh, where we specialize in developing younger kids and continuing to make sure the kids love the sport and uh, apply themselves in the best way possible. Do it, a little bit more intensity. Come on, James. Come on, James. 10 seconds. Push it. Four, three, two, and time. Good work. Breathe. Good stuff. Here we go. Get up. Get up. Push yourself. The presence and the versatility that they have with one being left footed and one being right footed, it's a blessing for anybody and especially down the road because you have a weapon on the left side, you have a weapon on the right side, you have opportunities to play them defensively or offensively and they, they complement each other. So imagine one, one player is going down, the, James in this case goes down the left side, switches a point of attack and Bryce is already on the end of that ball. So there's that, that connection, that natural connection that it just, it's fun to coach. I mean, it really is exciting to see. brother is one thing but I think to have a twin and even to be mirror twins I think it makes it a little more interesting too because they have each other's back but they have enough differences even if it's just one's left-handed one's right-handed they play opposite sides of the field but they uh, it helps them have a little bit of uniqueness but at the same time always being able to come back together and really they're, they're locked in by an energy that's just yeah. different yeah right it's 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 hard to explain but when you're around them you understand it yeah. And I think one of the things that makes them special on the soccer field and what people see is you can f kind of see that connection come out in the way they play and what they do. Yep. All right. So right here, Bryce, why'd you take 10 steps back right there? Um, I backpedaled to get an angle to go forward. Right. I was, I was backpedaled to this. get an angle. But then what happened and then, here? And then I took the back touch in the middle. And then I see Tyson presses, so I tuck into the middle and I see him. Then I just make the commitment to make sure he doesn't score. Well, that was great, great stuff. Great stuff. So smart. Commitment. Right. And most of our medals are second in this. And then this one is my favorite. We won a couple weeks ago. It's the Weston Cup. This this medal is what started off my me loving soccer. It's I nine sports. Like it was my first so soccer medal, and I love it because. I skilled a lot of players and I got like a, I got three hat tricks in three games. So nine goals in three games. In.
Nobody tells us, okay? Just so we can understand what, what's in front of us, what kind of day we're having. Obviously, it's one of our last practices prior to the tournament. Okay, you're not here to play around. You understand that? You're not here to play around. You're here to try to get better. Okay, you need to be sharp for this tournament. This is a big tournament for you. My favorite thing about soccer is when I get the ball, I'm not angry to just clear it. I can like slow down, like take a touch, and then like play someone. That just that's just that's just what I like most. Usually, we pick up our mistakes and then we add it to the list, like a mental list. Like don't let them turn, don't let them get the cross off because it could be dangerous in the box or anything like that. My goal is to play for fun, like right now, and practice and stuff. And when I need to focus. I know when it's time that I need to focus. It's incredible how much a person can do for two two little kids stuck in a dream to play in pro soccer. And them like sacrificing everything, driving us to soccer. It's just incredible having parents like we have. Okay, here's a question for you. How does it feel being the twin that's always number two? <laughs> the three variables controlled by the athlete are attitude, concentration, and effort. And when the, when the athlete can control those three and they're in the right environment, you'll see the kids that really control it because they take off. Um, these kids at their age, they have a very good grasp on all three, which is very rare. Where they go is really up to them. They don't need anybody to push them. The most important thing for me is that the things they learn out here, that fight, that grit, that competitiveness, that they apply that. And you learn it here, but you apply it for the rest of your life. And soccer is a sport that's in your blood forever. Do I think that their intelligence is on pro level? Yeah. And I think if they want it, you know, what I tell them is if you want it, you know, go for it. And, and you'll never hear from me that that's not possible. That's not gonna come out of my mouth. As a coach, as a mentor, I want them to play the sport as long as they can play. So if it means that they're going to play at the highest level, absolutely, I'm going to be there watching them and, and asking for an autographed jersey of both of them. Like, people think it's twin telepathy, but of course it's not. We just trust each other because we live together and we know each other too much. Also, we don't compete in everything, like on video games or when we're playing like Rocket League or Fortnite and like duos against other duos, like we communicate and we're with each other. And in school, if we need to help them out with a quick study or science or math or something, then we help, we help them out. Not everything, like everything in the world is not, not competitive, but a lot of it is.